It's a new video of the notorious California supermom with a bandage across her nose. Sherry Papini is all balled up, clutching her knees to her chest as she spins her lies about having been kidnapped. I feel like sometimes it's easier with my eyes closed. Sure. Is that okay? This just released video, first obtained by 2020, was recorded by cops at her home in Redding, California in 2016 with her husband Keith by her side. Sherry asks cops for permission to close her eyes as she relates the tale of being chained and tortured for three weeks by abductors, now revealed to be a complete hoax. How about the bathroom? What's that look like? It was always hands on the wall. That very first shower that I had hurt really bad because the burn was fresh and the water was running over it and there was other open wounds and it just... <sighs> In reality, Sherry inflicted the injuries on herself to bolster her lies, even breaking her nose with a hockey stick. I can't remember if it was if I was hit with something, if I was stuck with something, if it, and that's what I was asking too, if I was tased, wouldn't I remember? Or would there be a scar? Would there be a mark? Cops say DNA shows she was actually hiding out with her ex-boyfriend, James Reyes, at a love shack in Costa Mesa, California. I spoke to ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, about tonight's 2020 on Sherry Papini. Why are people so fascinated by Sherry Papini? I think because it's so unfathomable that someone who seems to have everything would do this. Ultimately, you know, investigators believe that the motive here was attention. I know that you guys know everything about everything. Yeah. That's embarrassing and well, um, yucky and that's weird for me. That's weird for me. Sherry Papini will surrender November 8th to begin her 18-month sentence for the kidnapping hoax. Thank you.